We made it to the Magical Kingdom. This is Jack and I's first time at Disney World. Jack's fever got worse. We took him to the ER. We're gonna show you who is here. to the magical kingdom and it is as magical as they say. This is Jack and I's first time at Disney World. We've been to Disneyland before, but this is so epic. Like, this is so freaking magical. You walk in and then there's the huge castle and now we're going to Tomorrowland. Jack is in awe, just pointing and staring at everything. It's a lot to take in. He is very stimulated and doesn't really know how to react, but I think we're warming him up. There's a lot of people here. This is so cool though. I am happy that we could do this. Even as an adult, this place is so magical, but taking your kid here and showing them everything you've seen when you were little or just things you've watched on TV, it is so cool. And so just like to see it through their eyes is the coolest thing in the world. So I love this. But here's the thing. So if you followed us for a while now, you know that Sarah is obsessed with Disney or so she says, okay? Love she loves Disney, Disney movies. movies, but like when we first got married, I was like, oh, you must love Disneyland, huh? And she's like, no, actually, I did not like Disneyland. And I could not believe it. This is different. I know it's Disney World, but the Magical Kingdom is basically set up like Disneyland. So yeah. what are your thoughts? Feels so pretty far. magical. We've only been here 10 minutes. Because so. you, she claims she is the biggest Disney fan on the planet. Oh, I you do have not to... claim that. Yeah, you do. I have never claimed that. You I do, at least about the Disney. movies. But you if you love Disney movies, movies, that's what this whole park is about, is all the movies. Yeah. Is it pretty magical to you, though? It's feeling pretty magical right now, yeah. But we've only been here 10 minutes. <laughs> hey. Hey. State your full name, sir. What's your name? I'm crushing the leaf. You're crushing the leaf? What? <laughs> we met Dane here and Blake. And Maddie, the Muleys have showed up in Florida, showing us around at Disney World. You guys know the Muleys? You know that they come to Disney World a lot, so we are in for a good time. It's gonna be great. A real good morning. We are at Hollywood Studios yes, right now. We are. This is our last day. Our last day. We get on a flight tomorrow morning. We leave tomorrow morning. So Sad. pretty epic. We did four theme parks. And that is true. I have packed. to say, I love Florida. Yes. I love Florida in the winter. I love Disney World. I don't know what's better, Disney World or Disneyland. I think Disney World just has more. What do you think? She had a bad experience at Disneyland. I like Disney World. <laughs> Disney World's pretty I like Disneyland too. I just love that there's so many options. Yeah. Um, but the nostalgia of Disneyland, we're West Coasters, so 
I mean, people from the East Coast would probably say this. Are you kidding me? Winner! <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? How does that happen? Um, it happens because I'm a freak. <laughs> I grew up playing video games. I guess Sarah did too, actually. Sarah played a lot of video games going on. But she literally beat me both times and I was going so freaking hard. We both drastically improved. We did, yeah. If we did it one more time, I definitely would win. No, that's, that's I would, I would. No, you're not. Yeah. How cool are those benches? It's so fun to play on those, huh? Like the coolest thing in the whole park, you'd say? Yeah. Look at it, it's your Mickey shoes. We are just waiting outside of the theater while my family watches the Frozen show. Jack just, you guys know. <laughs> he wouldn't be able to handle the show if it meant sitting still. So we're just chilling out here. Oh, I just ate ice cream and I don't feel good. I decided that I was gonna eat sugar on this trip because it wouldn't be worth it here at Disneyland to not eat it, sugar, but I just don't feel very good now. Bye bye, Disney bye -bye, World. Bye bye, Disney. It's been great. Too great. Had to go back. So sad. <laughs> we really had the best time though. I think my favorite part had to be Hollywood Studios. Maybe. I think actually no, I think Magic Kingdom still is the best just because it's magical. But this one I think is better for older people. Don't you think? Yeah. Oh I felt like this one was more magical. At least for me. Yeah. But I went cool. to like the Beauty and the Beast show and that yeah. was really cool because yeah. I love that. I don't know, we went on more rides today. Yeah. Jack didn't have a meltdown. Jack didn't have a meltdown, but he's just so tired. Oh, that is sad. He's just honestly like to the point where he he's just overtired. He, yeah, he's, he's so tired. He's so, so tired. Hopefully I think, that means he'll sleep on the plane tomorrow. Until next time, hopefully we come again soon because I'm pretty sad about this. It's like you get so sucked in <laughs> to the park. Also, you want to know what the coolest thing was though? Is we met so many cool people here that say we love your videos and we love your TikToks. And that was like, I was mind blown. I was like, whoa, we have like the coolest people watching us Ever. and following us. So that's one of the coolest one of them, things. Yeah. It was so fun to meet all those people that, yeah. that we never would have met. Ever. No, yeah. that's one of the coolest things about this is that we get to meet a lot of fun people. And we're grateful for that. So. Thanks, guys. You guys are awesome. Jack's fever got worse last night and was up about every hour. We kind of held off for a while. We were looking at an urgent care that wasn't open. His skin was just so, so hot. He hasn't been eating lately. We thought it was maybe him just working himself up, but it was pretty scary. To just tonight, I guess, it's 5 a.m. right now. We took him to the ER. They're just giving him some Motrin, they're checking his vitals, they're checking his temperature. They did say that he has a fever, but it's not too high right now. So they're just monitoring him. Hopefully we can get him to drink some water and yeah, it's just crazy. I mean, definitely not acting normal. He was up every hour just shivering so hot. So wanted to be better safe than sorry, but he's just out. Sad. Our flight goes home today in like five hours, so we're not really gonna sleep, but definitely worth it to bring him in and get him checked out because it was pretty scary. And it's been a fever for two and a half days now, and that's about the time where things get concerning, so we will keep you posted. Much, much, much later. Say hi. Hi, guys. Hey, guys. We just barely got back from Florida. We got back, well. Well, we, we got, got back, back yesterday. Yeah, last night. Last night. Little update on the ER visit. I know we kind of 
kept getting in there. The doctors ran all the tests. They gave him a COVID test. They tested for the flu. Those all um, came back negative. Came back negative. They're like, let's just do Tylenol and Motrin and just rotate between those two. They weren't exactly sure what he had, but he definitely had a fever and we wanted to be more safe than sorry. And It was so crazy the because- fl Flight was good. Yeah, the flight he did great on, which is shocking to me because he was already not feeling good, but then today we found out that Jack has a really bad ear infection. His ear, and he's ready for bed. He's way ready for bed. We started noticing here, that he had goopy here. stuff coming out of his ear today, like really bad, like Super boogery, thick, yellow like goop. yellow goop. All this stuff was coming out of his ear and just, poor little guy. Um, we obviously were like at that point. Oh my gosh something bad bad ear infection That's Yeah, and so we took him we immediately got an appointment with our doctor in Hawaii and that was a virtual visit but Virtual visit she can only do so much So she suggested that we go take him to an actual doctor here yeah, in so. Utah so we got him an appointment luckily and he was like yeah, that is a bursted eardrum he bursted. had goop Burst. Yeah, right. yeah. That is he it. He burst his eardrum. Burst his eardrum. <laughs> a bursted eardrum. <laughs> I guess, burst. yeah, I don't know. So we just barely got him on antibiotic, and he already seems like he's doing a lot better. He's just so tired because he hasn't slept for like two days, and neither have we. We've been rotating between the Motrin and the Tylenol. He's doing a little bit better. He's still off on his sleep. He's, he's just still just tired. He's, he literally, you guys, did not sleep for more than like an hour last night. He yeah. was just, and I think that's when his eardrum probably burst. We just kept coming up and holding him to sleep, then putting him back in. Or it burst when we were on the plane and we were going up and he was screaming. He would have just, I don't think it burst then because the doctor said yeah. it was probably last night because the goop started today. Anyways, we're just grateful that he's okay. It's scary when your kid has a fever and, and he's shaking and it's not and going away. And you just away. don't know what's going on, but I'm so glad that we know now and he's got an antibiotic in him and so he should be getting better within a day or two. You guys, Florida was an awesome trip. Disney World was an awesome trip. We love it. We love Florida. Just we want to go back. Took a crazy turn. Took a crazy turn. We had little hiccups and it was kind of expected. Still a blast and we're grateful that Jack's okay. We're back and we're going to show you who is here. Oh. We literally yes. got back yesterday we and have we some have fun guests. some fun guests that came today and they are staying with us for a week. They literally lived by us in Hawaii, but we just we didn't see each other as much as we would have liked to. But luckily they're here and they're going to stay with us for the week. So we're going to show you. The anticipation. The anticipation. Who is it going to be? No Who is way. it? Are we on your vlog? You're on the vlog. What is this? Up, there man? they are in the flesh. <laughs> What's up, dude? Yo, look at it. <laughs> Matt Abby right over here. and Abby Howard have come to stay with the Beastons. Beastons. That's right. A Beast and Howard collab, you could say. Finally, we lived in the same state for a year. <laughs> and we're just now finally collabing after we moved out of Hawaii. It, it took us moving away, being neighbors, then moving away, and now we're actually hanging out. Wow, yeah. look at that. Crazy. So we got the whole gang here, Tanner with the fresh buzz head. Oh, this is new. That's wow. about an hour ago. Yeah, check that out. We're going to make some fun videos with these guys. We're stoked. We're going to go to Park City and go snowboarding. There's Sarah's head. Hi, Sarah. But we're stoked. This is gonna be fun. Yeah. I think that is it. And with that, we're gonna put. We're gonna Jack put Jack down. down. Jack, can you say bye bye? Can you wait? Good job. Ah. <laughs> Thank you, you guys. If you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the button to get notified. We are grateful for you all, and thank you again for one million. We love you. Bye bye.